Hey guys, what's up? Beeper Mons here, aka Happy It Hurts. Going to show you today how it's still possible to pull PS4 usernames with IPs. Now it's only about a 50% hit rate, and uh, I'll explain the reason why. Three things you're going to need is console sniffer, Nighthawk, and Octo sniffer. For some reason, running two instances of ARP spoofing along with these two programs in a certain sequence we'll still pull username matching um, users IPs about a month and a half ago two months ago PSN switched their servers encryption to change the usernames actually what they did was they just where the usernames used to show up now they just threw in bullshit time based asterisks at least that's my theory and um, the only reason this works is because it, it, it'll it pull anybody's IP who's still the same as it was before the update. First thing you want to do here, you want to go ahead and go to Nighthawk. Make sure you're on your right network. Go ahead and enable mode. Scan your network. Find your default gateway, most likely 1.1. One, one. Sometimes Uverse and other networks are different. And then find your PS3 internal IP. and you want to get this one on the same network which it is so what you want to do is go ahead start spoofing start this up which is console sniffer do the same thing start that up do this start sniffing now let me join a game and show you that this works I did a video the other day showing you guys this and a few other things, but it didn't. I had to edit it a little bit, and the audio en ended up getting messed up, so it didn't work out too well. All right. Now, the reason I have to do it in that order is if I start this first, Nighthawk will not detect the uh, PS PS4 on um, the network, so... Find networks, start this, start this, then start this uh, console, or Octo, get them mis mixed up. Now, I do know the maker of Console Sniffer, and he is working on an update on it where we will be able to match it up 100%. Probably not using usernames, probably some other method of, like, packet detecting or something. I'll have to find out. All right, so I'm going to join a lobby, and what I'm going to do... Let me see if I can actually make this IP list small. I don't want to be giving away people's IPs. Also, if you guys are out there and you're looking for a good recommendation of like, um, let's see, of a good uh, stressor or tool resolver site, I recommend Ghost Stressor. He's done a lot of work since he first released it. And the new one's working fantastic. Now one thing about running um, all these at the same time is it does eat up your PCU like crazy. I should probably close that. Yeah, my PCU is being eaten up. All right, about to join a lobby right now in story mode. Hitting online. Just hit go. And yes. Okay, here we go. Now you're going to see it's about a 50% success rate. People who still have the same IPs from before the update will show up. Also, if people have two different accounts, say they have, you know, their username is 1A and then they have a 1B account. If they're playing on 1B, but you, they still have the same IP as when they played on 1A, it'll show up 1A's account too. 
All right, so here we go. So you can see failed, 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 failed are people who have updated their IP since the update, which I highly suggest you do. People who have not end up like this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, that's the same guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. This this one here is a little bit lower than 50%, but you can see on console snipper what it actually gives us. Which I'm showing IPs don't matter because you can't tell who's who.